Hey guys, um, I'm going to be showing you how to make this. It's a duct tape braided, um, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Let me just bring this over. Okay, it's a duct tape braided, um, bracelet. Um, looks like that. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that. For this one, um, I only use two colors. I use black and splatter paint. I'm going to be using three this time, um, so I'm going to be using these three colors, um, so I'm going to start real quick. Okay, so what you're going to do, um, however long you want your bracelet, that is up to you. I'm going to choose my bracelet to be about 13 inches long, and then it gets smaller as you go. It'll end up getting smaller um, when you start braiding. So I'm just going to cut that right here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just try your best. Um, so cut one strip of that color. Um, one strip of this color. And one strip of the other color. Um, if you're using two colors like I used, all you need to do is cut a strip of tape that is... Um, one color and then cut two strips of tape that are the other color so um, that you have two strips one color and then one strip the other color so that you still end up with three strips so just do that I'm just going to cut this off right here if I can get to stick okay and then my last strip Okay, so I'm just going to do that real quick. There goes the candle. Oops. Oh well. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we are. So I've got those. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do that for all of these strips just fold them into thirds so put it sticky side up um fold it down into the middle mine's a little bit over that's okay <coughs> okay there we go and just crease it so that it's like that and just fold the rest over So that you've got a strip that looks like this. Okay, so do that for all of them. That one didn't end up looking very great, so I'm just going to refold that right there. Okay. So now you've got your three strips. Um, now what you're going to do is cut a strip of tape that, it doesn't matter what color, I'm just using black, sorry. Okay, I'm just going to use black because that's the color I'm going to connect my um, bracelet with. So just do that. Um, whatever color you want, doesn't matter, you can use one of the same colors. I'm just going to rip it. Um, so, I don't know, this strip ended up to be about five, four and a half inches. So, cut a strip about four and a half inches. Now, just flip it over, sticky side up. 
And I have the crease like line on this side, so I'm going to stick it up because it's going to be going down. Uh, I'm going to be flipping it over. That makes more sense. Okay, so just lay it down. And then the next one. Doesn't matter how you put it on there. I just I like to have them in the middle, and I like to have them lined up. So. Okay, now, what you're going to do is flip it over and stick it on the table, or wherever you're doing it, and lay something heavy on top. I'm using my light, and then what I'm going to do is go like that, and I'm going to fix this. Okay, there we go. Um, now what you're going to do is just start braiding. Now what I like to do is kind of go like this, and I keep kind of going like this and tightening it when I go. So I kind of pull it tight as I go along. And it's going to be kind of loose at the beginning, but that's okay because we're going to fix that at the end. And then just kind of start seeing it get formed. And yeah. yeah I'm just going to start this over because at the beginning it really wasn't tight at all. <laughs> it's harder at the beginning, but if you redo it, then it kind of gets crinkled and it's easier to work with. So I'm just going to do that. Because while you are doing this, um, it gets crinkled, and then it's easier to form with. And try to go all the way to the end. If you can't get that there, that's okay. Oops. Just try your best. Okay. So now I'm kind of at the end. So here, I've got my braid. I'm just going to take this off here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take my exacto knife and cut about a half an inch piece maybe a little bit bigger and what I'm going to do here is just tape them together my ends together and I like to do this pretty tightly and then make sure that they are all good and then what I like to do is cut off the extras with my scissors so that's just like that and it's like that. And then we're going to start braiding this part. So what you're going to do is take this part off here and lay it on top of here. Okay, and then just start braiding. And again, pull tight because then it looks a little bit better. I think. And it's up to you. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to get to the ends. Then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take a piece of tape, half an inch, or well, a little bit bigger, and tape the ends. Okay, and then just cut off the edges right here. So 
so that it's like that. You might to take your tape off here. Gotta just do something real quick. Um, and then what you're going to do is put them together like this so that they're kind of on top of each other. And take your piece of tape. And I'm going to cut this in half. Right down the middle. A little bit more than that though. Just so that I've got a piece about that thick. And just tape these together. And again, I like to do it pretty tightly so that it stays together. And Okay, and there is your bracelet. Okay, and I like to make them kind of tight, and then they stay on, and there you are. Thanks for watching, and um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and um, check out my Etsy account. Um, my username is Erica Javis, so just log on there, and there you are. Thanks for watching.